Hello everyone, I'm Nidhi Johnny, Wireless LAN Technical Marketing Engineer and in this video we will look into one of Air Group's key feature that is Purcell Air Group. This will be part 1 of the video which will include use case and operation of the feature. We will cover an overview of the feature and its importance as a key Air Group feature in AOS 10. We will look into the different terminologies associated with this feature. Then we will delve into a practical use case of this feature to enhance the comprehension of its application. Finally, we will look into the detailed workflow of the feature. So what is Personal Air Group? Personal Device Visibility and Sharing, also known as Personal Air Group, is a key feature in AOS 10 Air Group that restricts the visibility of personal devices to device owners. Without this feature, all Air Group servers will be visible to all users unless we restrict using server level policies or service level policies. In a large network like a college or university, Users will want to register their personal devices to the network and use it for various streaming or casting services. Devices like Apple TV or smart speakers like Amazon Echo or Google Minis can be connected to the network and can be used to cast video or audio. In such large networks, it will become cumbersome to add different policies for different users. Personal Air Group ensures that these devices are only visible to the device owners. And if needed, users themselves can share their devices to other users on the network. No need for the intervention of network admin or IT department. When personal device visibility and sharing is enabled in Air Group, devices are categorized into two types, personal devices and public devices. Personal devices are those Air Group servers which are visible only to device owners by default. They are associated to the AP with a username. Personal devices can be manually changed to public devices to allow its visibility for all users. Public devices are those Air Group servers which are visible to all devices within one hop distance from the Air Group server AP. By default, public devices are devices without a username, but they can also have a username and still be a public device. These are devices that are manually added to the public server list. The public server list contains devices that were personal devices which have a username but have been manually added to the public server list. So you can think of a user adding their personal device to the network, but later they want to make it public to allow visibility to all devices. Then they can manually change it to a public device so all other devices in the network can discover their device. Alright, so what is this username we are talking about here? So the devices should have username in the UPN format, that is, user principal name format. For example, john.do at domain.com or studenta at xyzuniversity.com. Now let's consider a practical use case where users want to share their personal device. Consider the scenario of university or college dorm rooms where students have their own devices like Apple TVs, Google TVs and some smart speakers like Amazon Echo and Google Minis. Let's consider two rooms, room 1 and room 2. Room 1 has student A and student B. Student A does not have any personal device while student B has two personal devices, a Google TV and a Google Mini speaker. In room 2, we have student C who has two personal devices, Apple TV and Amazon Echo smart speaker. And we also have a common device, a printer which will be a public device. With personal device visibility and sharing feature enabled, this will be the visibility of the devices to the students. Student A can only discover the printer and not any device of student C or student B. Student B can only discover his own devices and the printer. Similarly, student C can only discover his personal devices and the printer. Now consider that student B wants to share his Google TV with student A. By using the personal device visibility and sharing feature, student B can easily share the device with student A. No additional policies are necessary, nor is any intervention from the IT department required. Once shared, this will be the visibility of the Google TV. Both student A and B will be able to discover the Google TV. We will see how users can share devices in the upcoming sections. But before that, how does PDV restrict visibility of personal devices to device owners only? So Personal Air Group ensures that when a client device queries for a service, only those devices that have the same username as the client device will be included in the response to the client device from the AP. Let's consider two personal devices, an Apple TV and a Google TV connected to the network. Apple TV is associated with username studenta at school.com. Google TV is associated with username studentb at school.com. 
and we have the following devices connected to the network an iPhone, a laptop, a workstation, and an Android phone. The iPhone is associated with username student a at school.com and the laptop is associated with the pre shared key. The workstation is associated with the username student b at school.com and the Android phone is associated with the PSK. Since the iPhone and the Apple TV have the same username associated with them, the Apple TV will be the only device visible to the iPhone. No other device will have visibility for the Apple TV. Similarly, since the Google TV and the workstation have same username associated with them, the Google TV will be visible only to the workstation. This is how the feature ensures visibility only to device owners. Let's look at the detailed workflow to understand this better. The process of sharing personal devices is compatible with MPSK servers and MPSK or .1x clients which are authenticated via Cloud Auth in Central. Here's a breakdown of the workflow. The Airgroup server authenticates with the AP using MPSK authentication. It sends the MPSK auth request which is forwarded by the AP to the Cloud Auth service in Central. The server's username is transmitted to the AP through the vendor specific attribute VSA. The AP forwards the auth response back to the Airgroup server. This completes the MPSK server authentication process. Once authenticated, the server begins to advertise its services by sending the MDNS advertisements. As the AP gets these advertisements, it begins to create the Discover Cache entry for the server with its username. The Discover Cache entries with the usernames are forwarded to the Airgroup service in Central. If the PDV and sharing feature is active in Central and the server's username is not in the list of public server usernames, the Airgroup service in Central fetches the sharing policy for the specific server from the server sharing policy database. Any device owner can share their Airgroup server via the Manage My Devices portal hosted by CloudGuest. The portal page is conveniently available at the bottom of the MPSK Wi-Fi password portal page. This link can be shared to the user. Next, a central cache entry is generated for the server, contingent upon its compliance with the Airgroup policy. The central cache updates are disseminated to the neighbor APs, specifically those within one hop distance from the AP to which the Airgroup server is connected. Consequently, all access points within the RF neighborhood establish a central cache for the specific server. This cache becomes instrumental in handling future MDNS queries from the clients. It's crucial to note that the sharing radius of the Airgroup server's visibility is confined to a one hop RF neighborhood. Effective interaction between the client and the Airgroup server is only achievable when both are within the proximity of a single hop RF neighborhood. That's it for part 1 of this video. Hope this video was helpful. In the next part, we will see how to enable personal device visibility and sharing in HPE Aruba Networking Central and also see a demo of the feature. Thank you for watching.